Hello Model Railroaders, my name's Dave, welcome to the layout. Today uh, I want to talk about track cleaning, about what I do. Uh, as you can see I've got a, a loco pushing around a uh, Atlas, or I guess it's a uh, Tomics cleaning car that I've put a DCC decoder in. Uh, allows me to push up through. I've got the vacuum accessory. I do not like the uh, sanding discs that uh, come with that setup, but for the vacuum, uh, actually uh, I find even going over it with a, uh, a vacuum with a brush nozzle on it that the cleaning car in vacuum mode pulls up finer stuff that, uh, you know, I figured the regular vacuum would pull up. So uh, we'll let that continue on its way. And uh, while that's doing its job, we'll talk about what else I use. So of course, there's our normal track eraser that everybody has. And of course, there's each manufacturer makes makes their own. Uh, an alternate to that is uh, the Tidy Track uh, kit through Woodland Scenics, and I got that to try because it comes with uh, a more robust track uh, eraser and then a finer track eraser. And as you can see by this one, it's been used and is, uh, it actually picks up the tarnish off the rails fairly nicely and uh, you can use it with the wand or without and it also comes with two different types of cleaning pads one's more of a polishing pad and one's more of a cleaning pad and uh, as you can see on here I've got two of the polishing pads on uh, one I usually if I'm hand scrubbing the track will put rubbing alcohol 99% on it and then leave the other one dry uh, so that as I'm scrubbing back and forth one's wetting and one's uh, doing the cleaning but uh, the wand just snaps into there or you can use it hand so I find that uh, between the uh, the Woodland Scenics tiny tra Tidy Track <laughs> and the regular track eraser that uh, is usually very sufficient for me to get the track clean but for mainline uh, as we chase this around here uh, I actually use the uh, CMX cleaning uh, tanker the, the brass tanker and uh, with the corduroy strip uh, just cut it to length snap it on and uh, it does quite well. Again, I use, uh, I don't know if I can get in there, 99% isopropyl alcohol. And uh, let's just bring this to a stop if I can. And uh, let's load up some isopropyl alcohol in it. I've already pre-wet the uh, the bottom of the tanker and I'm just using a, a poly pipette to uh, that I've preloaded since uh, makes it a little easier without having with one hand holding the camera and I just usually fill that up as everything I'm doing is level I don't bother with the uh, gasketed cap I've already got that preset so it's just a matter of railing the trucks hooking it up and then usually I'll do a couple runs around with the cleaning car on and then do a few runs just with this the uh, CMX cleaning machine so that way the Loco isn't picking up any uh, fuzz or hair that the uh, furnace may be
pushing out the vents or causing the cycle around so I don't have to worry about that getting all wound up on the gears and then the cleaning machine with the isopropyl alcohol on the slow drip to keep the pad wet and it dragging along uh, actually does show the tarnish on the uh, corduroy so I've had good luck with that system I have had tried rail zip in the past uh, I won't say I've had bad luck with it but it's I don't know uh, chemically wise it may purport that it is uh, compatible with plastic and everything else but uh, I found just going with the simple IPA and uh, the, the scrubbing pads or the track eraser the track eraser is as harsh as I'll get on the rails I don't want to put scratches uh, in there on them to uh, cause them to adhere the dirt so uh, that's all I can give and there there we are there's one of the proponents of putting hair on my layout Frederick the cat yes so uh, and speaking of Frederick the cat a friend of mine provided me with a cartoon saying don't worry about it he's had it coming for a long time of the cat sitting on the layout and getting his tail fur chewed off by the snow plow so I'll have to eventually get that hooked up but uh, a few runs of uh, the clean machine and then I know I'm good for uh, a day or an evening session of running trains around so I hope that information may help somebody somebody out uh, again it's pretty much scale independent uh, because they do make the CMX cars and the HO I've looked at the roller cars uh, I want to say Aztec I'm not sure if that's the proper name and I prefer a, a physical scrub of the rails over a rollered cleaning uh, but that's just my preference so hope this uh, helps somebody out and uh, we'll see you in the next video.